Speaking of preaching to the choir, I want to talk about the new mascot. <laughs> so apparently, the Vatican for uh, for Jubilee, which is like a it's like a celebration year, basically, they announced an official anime mascot of the Catholic Church right here, and she's so cute, the Funko Pope. <laughs> The Vatican has unveiled the official mascot of the Holy Year 2025, Luce, Italian for light. Archbishop Fisichella says the mascot was inspired by the church's desire to live even within the pop culture so beloved by our youth. This looks so funny. Like this, it's like he's, it's like he's blessing her. <laughs> she looks like she's from a blind box. Luce will serve as the mascot of the Holy Seas Pavilion at Expo 2025 in Osaka, Japan. The, oh, oh, this is actually interesting. Oh, I actually didn't know this. Is that the Expo 2025 is going to be in Japan. So that's probably why they did this, actually. This makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, of course. Well, the thing is, is like, of course, people are going to corrupt it. Like, duh, it's the internet. See, but the thing is, is it a bad thing to do something like this just because people will make hentai of it? Like, I don't think that's a good argument. That basically eliminates all, all wholesome art. It's like, oh, let's not make Dora the Explorer because because people are gonna make hentai of her. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't hold up in any sort of way. I'm pretty sure you can find hentai of literally anything. Uh, not Concord. Oh yeah, that is a thing too. Yeah, it was by Toki Doki and people are like saying that the person is, is gay. The person who designed it is gay. Whether or not a person is gay or not doesn't have an effect really on if the art form itself, it, it doesn't affect if the artwork itself is like, evil in nature. Does that make sense? There's a lot of like beautiful paintings that were made by suspicious people. You know, the art, the art themselves are, are like really beautiful, right? Gotta reach out to the youth through animus. Well, I mean, I thought, I thought I'd give you my take on this. Okay. Cause I've heard a lot of takes all around and I'm going to tell you why a lot of them are stupid. So me, I think this is great. It's a very cute mascot. And I think, yes, it is a way to like re reach out to the youth. And my biggest problem with this is there are a lot of people in the religious community who are kind of against this thing. And they're saying it's like really cringe or like we should stick to tradition. And that's what a lot of like people are saying, like this is not like tradition and we need to stick to tradition. And um, you might think I would agree with that based on things I've said, you know, in general, but I actually think that's incredibly retarded. And I'm going to explain to you why it is, okay? The reason why is if your point is to keep your ideology alive, you cannot stay in your fenced off pasture. And that's just how it is. My guess is that Matt Walsh said that. I mean, he said that anime was evil, so, which is retarded because anime is not inherently evil or good. It depends on the actual specific work. That's like saying paintings are evil or movies are evil. It's, it's such a, such a retarded take. Anyway, what I was going to say is that, um, you can't just stay in your fenced off pasture if you actually want to affect things in the world. Right. And there's this sort of weird pride that I see in not just it's not a specifically a Catholic thing. It is a thing that exists everywhere on any sort of conservative front, whether that's Christians or just conservatives, right? Is they're so hard stuck on the idea of tradition that they don't understand that they stay in this walled off pasture and they don't go looking for other sheep. So they're basically slowly killing themselves because they're like, oh, we're too good. We don't want to like engage in the culture because that's cringe or that's non-traditional or we're better than that and that is such a ridiculously stupid thing to say and it's the whole reason we're even in this mess to begin with is because every inch of ground that you say i don't want to fight over that inch of ground because i'm too good for that every single inch of ground that you surrender for free is going to be filled by something else it's about withholding tradition tradition exists for a reason so wait what's your what's your point Julio. Obviously, tradition exists for a reason. Are you arguing against Luce? Obviously, tradition... I'm not saying tradition is bad. I'm saying being so stuck on tradition is bad. It's not because we are better. Are you telling me that there aren't people who think that things like anime are beneath them in conservative and Christian circles? Because a lot of people do give off that idea, basically. All traditions exist for a reason. A uh, reason lost to history and many are just real circumstances. At the given time. Basically, what I'm saying is like, I think this is a huge win because you have to actually fight in the culture in order to 
influence the culture. The, the fact that we are where we are now is because nobody has fought against it. And I'm not even specific, specifically talking about Christianity or conservatism. I'm saying like even gamers, we haven't fought for our culture. And that's why we're where we are now. If people actually tried to fight for what we believed in earlier, the gaming industry wouldn't have been so taken over. That's my point. The reason I, I think this is such a good idea is because they should be appealing to young people. They should be appealing to people that need it, that, that you know, they need God, you know? And the, the whole idea, like everyone saying that like this is awful is just, I just, I don't understand it personally. I think it's basically just asking for defeat. It's sitting around asking for defeat and just preaching to your own people. It doesn't make any sense to me. They should have done this a long time ago, says Dreamless Detroit. Yeah. There was this VTuber I used to watch that actually did this kind of stuff. There's one I'm watching right now on YouTube. This guy does like, a, like he's a VTuber and he talks about these kind of things. It's basically in the context of like how cultural things can like kind of apply to teachings. And I really like, I really like this guy's stuff. My opinion is that if it's not leading people to God, it's probably not a good idea. That's supposed to be the main goal of a church. I mean, the thing is, is like, I, I, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily true. Um, I think it depends on what it is. So some things are made for people that are already like within the religion or whatever group. Again, I, I don't think this is necessarily religious. This applies to everything, including gaming. So I'll use gaming as an example because it's more neutral. For instance, there, there are games that exist that are difficult and they're suited for gamers, for hardcore gamers. But there are also games that are suited more towards casual things, right? And casual games bring in more people into the gamer fold. Do you see what I mean? Like, for instance, a game that is ridiculously hard is not meant to appeal to people that aren't gamers. It's kind of what I mean. And you can use the same concept for a religion or a political movement or anything, really. For instance, maybe Lucha wasn't made for the people who are, that are already believers. She was not made for them. She was made for the people that aren't. Do you see what I mean? There are some things, they're good specifically for the people who are already believers in whatever it is. And then there are other things that are meant to appeal more to people that don't believe in, in order to bring them into the fold. Parent Vizzy says, is this real? They need to make her a VTuber. <laughs> I don't know if that's specifically a good idea because then you'd have like a person behind it. And once you have a person behind it, like there could be like scandals. I'd rather like she just stay as an anime character and that she's just pure in that regard. And that anything that they release for her is just wholesome and pure. The instant you put a person behind it, that person can be involved in scandal, which then taints the actual work. They can get a, a younger nun with a nice voice. Yeah, but again, like even a nun would be a person, right? Even, even a nun could make a mistake. And you know, people are human, they're not perfect. So like even a, a, any, anything human could make a mistake, basically. Nuns shouldn't have scandals though, I mean, I'm old I enough to remember. <laughs> I hope they, they do this like Snow, Snow Miku do this design every year. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, there was, there was like some mega schizo stuff about how like her name is uh, because uh, Lucha means Italian for light. And um, if you if you don't know, the big bad in Christianity is named Lucifer because Lucia means light and Lucifer is the light bearer and he's like the big big bad yeah he's the big bad if you if you don't know the christian lore he's the big bad he's like the lich king you know so like the fact that her name is lucha kind of set a lot of like people off in like conspiracy theory they're like she's literally satan guys look at her she's literally she's trying she's literally satan and she's trying to like get in your mind she's trying to get in there yeah it's just it's just a word yeah, it's because Lucia means light. So her name is, they named her after light. It doesn't mean, so what, is light bad now? Is the concept of light as opposed to the darkness? Is the concept of light bad? Because it shares the first four letters with Lucifer. And, and the whole reason why, again, the whole thing behind Lucifer in the first place is that Lucifer was the light bearer. That's why Lucifer, Lucia, light. Right? So <laughs> That's, yeah, if you're not familiar with Christian lore, that's the whole thing with that.
the whole Illuminati thing, Illumination and Lightbringer and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As an Italian, they're being stupid. Not even in Italy do we care about this crap. So silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's meant to be that Lucifer is the title of the devil and that he's a false light bearer. But Jesus being God's is flying to the world Catholic here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this is the biggest. This is the biggest Catholic W in a while. <laughs> She's like so cute. Uh, personally, I don't trust organized religion. I'm I'm a Christian, but the church and masonry and stuff is just too deep for me to be able to understand. I like to steer clear of big groups. That. The funny thing is, is actually the people who are the most mad at this are Protestants. <laughs> Protestants are mega mad at this from what I've seen. 